God abides with us. I want to say, especially to the young, the elementary and high school students among you, these are difficult times for you. My heart breaks for you. Yet it is a time of, of testing, hopefully a kind of a time of purification, a time of re-evaluation, a time to recognize that all of the things which the world promises us, you know, all of the electronics, though they give us some solace, are not sufficient. That what we desire and what we crave is genuine human person-to-person -person interaction. These are things which over the last decade perhaps have fallen by the wayside. I see many people in restaurants, two people, both on their cell phones. I think after the pandemic, when we are allowed to be in a restaurant again, that two people who are there will not be on social media. They will be present to one another. And so during this time, my dear young people especially, be present to your parents, be present to those whom you live with in your homes, be present to them. Utilize the technology as necessary on occasion, but do not live for that technology. For God who knows you better than you know yourselves, know that you have been created for authentic, genuine relationship with one another. And for this reason, God sent his only begotten Son that we might know his abiding presence in our midst. I pray for you especially that this last week of Advent and this celebration of Christmas be a time of genuine rejoicing for all of you and a time for an elimination of any undue fear.